Yo, 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 what's going on, Tech 20? I hope you're all super well. Today, I've been reading the comments on my computer, and some people have been saying, Sheldon, how do you get such quick feet? So I'm about to head down to the park to show you guys a couple of drills that I absolutely smashed out so much of when I was younger. You can do these now, you can do this at any age, any skill level, and they are absolutely amazing. Obviously, if you're a bit more advanced, you don't really want to do these drills, just be honest with yourself. If you think they're too easy, step it up, make it harder. So let's head down to the park and check those out. All right, so this first drill that we're going to do is just dribbling through the cones. It is so, so simple. I did this so much with my dad, Papa Tweety, when I was younger. Literally, all it is is going up and back. You can do different things. So what I would do is go up only using my right foot, and then come back and then come back again with my right foot once I get to the end. Then on the next set, I go with my left foot. Then we would do things like rolls, uh, all these different sorts of things that you guys are going to see. And I would almost make a set. So the first set would be up, back with right foot, then up, back with left foot, and then up, back with rolls and would time it and see how quickly I could do it. So here it is. Okay, this next drill just comes down to practice. We got a grid here where there's a cone in the middle, four cones on the outside. It's a diamond square, whatever you want to call it. All that you're going to do is start here, go to the middle cone and practice maybe a scissor, whatever skill you want to do. I maybe have this a little bit too close. I did four steps, you could maybe do five. It's dribbling in, drop the shoulder and go. So effectively by doing that, you're working on that scissor. So when we do it, we want to go around drop the shoulder so that you fake the defender. Some of the times you guys have seen in my game videos, I go to the defender, I don't fool him with anything. The way to fool a defender is to go around, drop the shoulder, push off and go away accelerating. So I see a lot of players when they do a scissor, it's very slow and you see Sepper and I flash back to this clip. So you can see that we're used to getting a lot of scissors around and pushing off the toes. And that's just practice. We wouldn't be able to do that if we didn't practice. So this is a little bit of how this drill goes. So that's just a couple of the drills. The one that I did through the cones, the simple dribbling, I did that so much. Another one you can do is just dribbling through these cones, going around making a figure of eight. There's a ton of little things. Now, I got Jack and Sam here who are helping out. Obviously, they're doing work experience. But I've been coaching you guys for how long? Like, like a year and a half. Hasn't been that long? Yeah. Far out. Now, at any point, have I run you guys through ladders? No. no never. never. And I think a lot of people think to have quick feet, you need to be running through ladders. And look, it does help, but I've never done ladders myself. I've done it with coaches. I never really put 100% into it because I didn't believe in it. I don't think it actually helps because some people think that it's agility, but agility is reacting to a source. So that's reacting to a source. Even better if Jack stood there and now Sam has the ball and he's going 1v1 with a scissor. Now he's reacting to a source and pushing off those feet. So literally it's just about practice. You can do ladders. Will it help? Yes. You're putting your body through something, but there's just better things you can do. So that's a few little drills there on how you can make your feet a bit faster. Again, it just comes down to practice. How often do we do 1v1s at training sessions? Like almost every time. But yeah, literally like, because it is so important. It's one of the fundamentals of football and it works on that agility because you're reacting to the other person, the source. I'll put a link to a Facebook video which explains all of this. It's in the description down below. It's my absolute favorite. So make sure you watch that before you comment anything. So thanks for filming that guys. Brilliant work, love it. 
Now, if you guys want to see more drills or tutorials in the future, let me know in the comments. Today, I'm not up to a whole lot. I was supposed to do sprint training this morning. My knee's almost fine. My ankle's feeling good, but my back, it's extremely painful. I've looked to book him for a physio. I think I can only get in on Monday next week. I'm going to be in New Zealand, so I decided to hold back the sprint training. I'll see how I go at team training tonight. But yeah, I think I want to get to the gym, get a session in there, so I'm at least doing something, because I know there's a few things I'll be able to do. So. Let's head home. All right, I've come back from the park and I don't know if you guys can see, but outside it is extremely windy. It is going to start pouring. And these guys here, you have training tonight, 5 p.m.? Yeah. yeah. And I've got 7 till 9 p.m. Now, luckily we got down and did those drills. Do you think you guys might go do them at home? Um, I reckon um, I will. I'm like, I don't reckon, I'm 100% sure I will. Nice, nice. Now you guys, what are your honest thoughts on ladders? Uh, a lot of people have done them in the past. On your honor swords, you don't have to agree with me. Sam, let's start with you. What do you think? Yeah, so I used to do them in the past, but I never really knew why I was doing them, you know? I just sort of did them because, like, the coaches just told me to. I was like, Fair. all right, but, like, now that you've given me this insight, I'm like, maybe I shouldn't be doing it, you know what I mean? Basically, like, if you're going to, like, a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, why would you waste your time with ladders? I mean, True, yeah. good when you do them individually, but on a one-on-one -on -one coaching session... No, no, no. I actually like that point. A lot of players go to one-on-one -on -one coaches and pay money where to get their ladder technique better, which is literally just running through the ladder and getting fast feet. If you really want to run through a ladder, just go do it by yourself. It's so simple. You don't really need someone there to guide you on how to do it. You can find all the combinations online and learn from that. So yeah, editing. Are you guys enjoying it? You know it. Oh my god, I'm having a whale of a time. Nice, me too. Sick. You guys haven't seen this room before. It's the laundry room. I'm just doing some washing right now of all my clothes. I'm running out and as you know, I'm going to New Zealand. And do not forget, someone is coming on this trip to New Zealand with me to go and see Matt. You know, you can keep trying with your guesses. I don't know who's going to get it. I don't know if someone has said it in the comments yet, but it'll be good. So like I said before, it's been raining and thundering and training tonight has been called off. Now I missed out on sprint training this morning because of my back and as the day's gone on, mm, I get, nah, it's still sore. I have booked a physio appointment for tomorrow at 10 a.m. So I'll be going to that to get it checked out because it is important. So I decided, you know what, I can do a number of things. What I want to go and do is go to the park, Manly Oval, get a session in there. Jack and Sam will be coming as well. They're a lot younger than me. They're 15 and 16 years old, but at the end of the day, it's better to have someone there who can kick a ball back to you rather than just going down by yourself. So I highly suggest try and find a training partner that you can go down to the park with. If they're your age and your ability, then man, that's perfect. But sometimes you've got to adapt to it. So that's kind of the plan. I'll be heading down there in about an hour, come back, have dinner, and then I also want to get a little bit of gym work in at home. I've looked over the program and I just don't think there's a whole lot at all I can do. And on top of that, the gym closes at nine o'clock, so I won't be able to get down there. So that's pretty much the plan. Not sure how much footage I'll get down at the park. I'll always do my best. So if I can set up the umbrella, then I'll do that and get some footage for you guys. So yeah, washing. Done. So I'm down at the park now. As you can see, it's super bright down here. Just joking, it's not that light at all. This makes it look pretty light. Now we got Sam and Jack here. Nice training session. I'm looking forward to it. Let's, Let's get it. Keen? Keen? Turn up the brightness in the camera. Sam's going to be over there, possible into me. I take a touch on my feet. He's gonna run at me and try and block my shot. I'm only going to be doing left foot shots because if I shoot with my right, that's where I twist my back and it's extremely painful. In saying that, I can feel like almost a knot or a bump there. That's where the pain is. So I don't know. Vizio yeah, will check it out tomorrow and we'll know more.
that curl with the outside of the right foot that I get so that it comes around. It's just practice. Left foot, you're gonna mess it up for a while, but eventually, the more practice you put in, you will get the results. Decent little session, what do you guys think of it? Yeah, it was good, it's good, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Sam and I, what did we do? We did uh, the... The two touch, like, the layoff. The... Oh yeah, yeah, we also did one touch, we did just two touch against the wall, yep. and we also did football tennis for a bit. Jack, you went off by yourself, what yeah. did you get up to? I just did a bit of passing, just a bit of touching, uh, chatting, touching. With, chatting with the locals. Oh really? Yeah, yep. what they say to you? Oh, uh, they're like, oh, can I please get your number? And I was like, oh, fine, whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this joker. And then we called you over, did some 1v1s. I thought that was good. How did you guys find it? Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. Well, you guys are like five years younger than me. Yeah, I did so. embarrass you a little bit. But... Did you? I remember. Yeah, Can flashback we get a... to those embarrassments. Yeah, flashback to the one where you nearly fell over. <laughs> what? <Nah. laughs> what? Do you remember that? Yeah, I, I just like, I was just like, I was like, is gravity real or what? So I just I almost fell over. Oh, like, yeah. oh wait, no gravity. So it wasn't even like me doing anything. You were just like, whoa. Yeah, I was like, oh crap, gravity's real. So yeah, just, yeah, true. Wow, that's crazy, man. Crazy stuff. All right, I'm going home. I'll catch you guys tomorrow at the space station editing station. Yeah. And yeah, that's about it. Good work. See you later. Thanks. I'm back from that session. I had dinner before. I didn't show you guys because I'm completely exhausted. This is what I had. It was sausages, mashed potatoes, some asparagus sauce thing, and some cauliflower. I've also got all of the washing done. It's hanging up here, so I've got a whole bunch of football clothes all washed there as well. I enjoyed that session, and you know, in those 1v1s, obviously these guys aren't going to be as good as a Pat or as a Jay, simply because they're five years younger than me, four years younger than me, but it's still good to get me that experience of being in a 1v1 situation. And if anything, it's only going to make me a better player because I will build confidence from beating them. And you know, I'm not going to beat them every time. They're still a physical human being, <laughs> but they are good players. I just have like a five-year advantage on them. So it might be a little bit unfair Fair, but still, like I said, brilliant for me to get into that situation as much as possible. Now with the physio booked for tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., that will be really interesting to see what they say about my back. Regardless, I'm gonna play on the weekend. I always go to the physio to kind of get an idea of what's wrong with me, and then I just make my own judgment, and usually it ends up being, yeah, I'm just gonna play. <laughs> I think in my life, I obviously I had the eight month injury with my foot that put me out for ages. But apart from that, I don't think I've ever missed a game due to injury. So for everyone out there saying, Sheldon, you're injury prone, no. But I'm gonna end it there, head off to bed. I'm extremely tired. So anyway, Team Tweety, I'm sun out. Make sure you leave a like for this. Subscribe if you're here. Join the journey, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.